we went we're into our campaigns we clicked the plus sign and this comes up a uh, list of some options for us when we're setting up our our new AdWords campaign all right so we got search display shopping video universal app stuff but for this example remember we're using XYZ roofer campaign which is going to be a lead generation campaign we want to push inbound phone calls and we want to push form submissions which a lot of most people watching this video is probably looking for leads um, unless you're looking for e-commerce stuff but you have to go for to a whole different you know Google shopping campaign and we'll get there eventually we'll make a video for that too but for this example we're gonna do straight up lead generation so what you're gonna do is click search come down here click leads and set up details the way you'd like to reach your goal let's just do so actually, you know what? We don't need to do that right now. So get website visits, and our roofer URL is going to be xyzroof.com. You can see here in our Insta page account. And I highly recommend if you guys are running an AdWords campaign for anything that you are using landing pages, instapage.com is probably one of the best um, landing page softwares out there. There is a few other ones like lead pages and whatever. But we use Instapage for everything for all our clients. I dropped a link below in the description for you. It's a free trial for Instapage. You can play around with it. It's totally just user-friendly, drag and drop. It's awesome. And I, I'm telling you, you need a landing page if you're running AdWords. Running traffic to a website homepage that's not designed for conversion is just going to end badly for you. Anyway, okay, xyzroof.com. Here's our makeshift landing page. As you can tell, I didn't do anything to it. It's just like a template that Instapage gave us. And I think it's like a real estate one or something. But I just dropped it on our domain for XYZ. Not bad looking. Obviously, we would play around with it if we were going to run it for real. But works for the example. So back into AdWords. We're going to put our URL in there. Hit continue. Campaign name. XYZ Roofers. Now this is very, very important, guys. Like one of the most important things. Check this off. Display network. You do not want to run display network for lead generation. Okay, at least it's more complicated than that. We'll make a separate video if you want to do display network for lead generation or for sales or whatever. But for this example, if you are just trying to, if you're trying to do lead generation and push phone calls stuff like that, the only thing we want to run is search network, and we're going to include Google search partners. Okay, so that's that's a very important setting thing that a lot of people get wrong. If you run Display Network, you will burn all of your money and get no results. I'm telling you. All right, locations. So we're going to do, I remember I said it's Philadelphia. Philadelphia, nice big reach, 12 million people. Language, English, budget, 50 a day. I highly recommend, especially with the competitive, competitiveness of AdWords, that you guys run a minimum of 50 a day or your client runs a minimum of 50 a day even if that means you have to consolidate your ad schedule so say you have a client and they they their budget's um what thousand dollars a month or whatever that is five days a week um what, what the hell is that 50 divided by let's do some math it's pretty sad that i can't do that math in my head but it is what it is, guys. All right, so $1,000 a month, let's say the guy is, and they're running five days a week, so that's divided by 20, 50 a day. Yeah, all right, so I thought. So 50 a day is the minimum you want to run because you're going to get clicks, especially in the roofing niche, that are literally $27, $30 a click. You will get some nice ones that are under 10, um, but the, the bulk of the, the high intent ones that we want, the people actually are that are in an emergency and they need a roofer right now to schedule an estimate, they're going to be higher priced, so to compete, you're going to have to have a higher budget. So if if you're trying to run like ten dollars a day or fifteen dollars a day, I wouldn't. It's just not you're not going to get any traction. Google's not going to share your ads, and it's going to screw everything up. So that's just my recommendation: minimum fifty a day, and even if you have to consolidate the ad schedule to three days a week to hit that, to hit the you know meet the client's monthly budget or whatever it is, consolidate the ad schedule to get more per day. That's that's what you're going to have to do. All right, come down here. Delivery method, we want to do standard to start. Bidding, all right, there's a lot of different bidding options that you can go into. So we want to manually set bids for right now. We can always come back and change this. We want to focus on clicks right now. Maximize clicks. And this is so important when setting up 
automatically maximize clicks. So this is basically Google auto bidding for you to get the most amount of clicks for your budget. And we start every campaign off with this because it just gets better traction if you let Google's algorithm go in there and just start, you know, attacking the competition for you. But the most important thing I can tell you is make sure you have a maximum CPC right here set up. Because we've ran into situations before where we didn't set one up and on stupid small campaigns with like ten, fifteen, twenty dollar a day budgets and in, in like smaller niches, we're getting the Google was auto bidding clicks like fifty dollars click and it was like insane. And we burned a ton of money. So you've got to set a bid limit. So for this for this niche, the roofing niche, I'm gonna set the bid limit at thirty three. Let's do something like obscure, like thirty three sixty two or something like that. Just to give us an edge. So we're gonna set that. That's so it won't. So the auto bid will never bid more than this. And believe me, it will if you don't. If you don't have anything here, you'll only bid you $108 clicks. I'm telling you, it will. So be careful. All right. So that we got that. That's our bid strategy. I do. I do want to increase conversions with enhanced CPC. So this basically just means if Google sees something that you're not catching, like there's a keyword that is driving a lot of conversions and you haven't optimized it. Google's going to be like, hey, well, you know, this is hitting home runs for you, so I'm just going to auto adjust it to get more conversions. And then we got our start and end dates. Um, I never really play with this. Just start it and run it. Site links, we'll get into that call out. We'll get into that call. We'll do that a little bit down the road. Add rotation. Optimize, perform. Best performing ads, that's what we want to do. Ad schedule, very important. You need to have an ad schedule. I do not recommend you run 24 hours a day. You will get crushed. And it's just not, it never works out well for anybody. So if you're a roofing company, if you're whatever, a limo company, you should run during your business hours when someone can actually answer the phone or return a form submission lead with a call or whatever. So seven. GMT time. Okay. Location options, very important setting. Also, this is wrong. You do not want to have this setting. It will show your ads to people outside of your targeted locations. This is the correct setting. People in your target locations. This is fine to use that. And then this, we don't need that. Skip over that. Okay. So we're digging in to our first ad group here. And I already went ahead and took the liberty of creating a few ad groups for this campaign. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see how to create ad groups, how to find keywords, how to create compelling ad text that pulls con like conversions and CTR, high CTRs, I'm going to have those links in the description below this video. So make sure you go down there and check them out. Because I walk you through by the hand how to set all this stuff up. And it's so important to have negative keywords. Your campaign will fail without them. So that those videos are all below. Anyway, back into it. Ad group number one. Go up here, and we got our Philadelphia Roofers as our first ad group. You can see here I just built out a few ad groups, and we use the keyword planner to do that. Got our negative list here too, and a few different ads. So for each ad group, you always want to run two to three ads. I recommend three, and um, you're just gonna you're gonna get more. Google's going to rotate your ads. You're going to see which ones are winners, which are losers. And then every 7 to 14 days, you are going to pause the loser, and you're going to create a new ad to run against the winner. Okay? So that's how we continue to optimize our ad copy. So for the first ad group, Philadelphia Roofers. There we go. And we have our keywords here. So this is another thing. So we always, 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 always recommend when you're starting out a new AdWords campaign, only keyword match types you use are exact and phrase match. I know that's not this. Everyone doesn't do it that way. I, before everyone starts yelling at me, this is the best way to do it to gather data before you get crushed with broad match because broad match will crush your campaign. You'll spend a ton of money. You probably will have shitty conversions, and it's just going to work out better if you just start small. I know it sucks. Start small and then grow the campaign like this. So we're only going to do exact and phrase match so let's copy these then we're going to come over to our tool here it's called adwords wrapper adwords i don't even oh here we go 
Mike Long made it. Good job, buddy. We're gonna come down here, and this is gonna you're gonna drop your keywords in it for each ad group. Hit wrap keywords, and this is it just wraps your keywords in the different AdWords match types. So we got modified broad phrase exact, broad modified broad phrase exact, and you can see on and on down here. So we're gonna come down here to uh, phrase and exact. We're gonna take those. We are gonna drop them right in our AdWords campaign. It gives you a little thing down here. All right, so that's gonna be ad group number one. And then obviously you have over here, can give you keyword ideas, which they're not real estate agent. Like, come on, man. And again, the landing page is about real estate. So if it was probably proper, it would have roofing stuff. But watch, if we, do, we can do by keyword too. Let's do roofers. Actually, let's do Philadelphia roofers. Let's try that. There we go. So it's going to suggest some different keywords to throw in here. And some of these might be good. You want to add them. But keep in mind, when you add them, you hit the plus sign. They're going to drop in here. Roof Repair Philadelphia. Roofing Contractors Philadelphia. So basically different variations of what we already have. And this is a great way to build out your aggregates further. So we're going to drop them in here. But before we add them, so let's say we went through this whole list and we found everything we wanted to add. What we would then do is we would not just hit save and continue. We would grab them, copy them, delete them. That's at least what I do. Go into keyword wrapper, come back up top, drop them in here, wrap them, make them phrase and exact, copy them, drop them back in. Just like that. And then we have all of our keywords built out here. We'll hit save and continue. And here's where we're going to create our ads. All right, so again, so when creating ads, like I said, we already have a few created for this example, but I dropped the link in the description below on a video I made on how to find, write, and uh, just kind of like write persuasive copy to get high CTRs and crush your competition. Because if you if you watch the video below, you'll see that a lot of the different AdWords advertisers are all just copying each other and like literally word for word copying each other and just changing out a word or two. And you got to make yourself stand out or you're going to get killed. So let's go into new ad. We got our URL, which is XYZ roofing. Hopefully this works and AdWords doesn't give us a problem with it. Headline one. So this will be ad one for this ad group. And we'll do Philadelphia ad. So these three ads are basically going to be our core, our core ads. The keywords in them will change based on which ad group we're putting them in. So obviously, if we're if we're having a if we're in our roof replacement ad group, we're not going to have roof repair contractor. That doesn't make any sense. We're going to just modify each. They're going to be modified based on the ad group they're in for high quality score. And quality score is factored by a few different things. I have a video on that that I've also dropped in below on how to get a high quality score. So there's a few different factors on that that I'll go into down there. But for time's sake, we will just keep going here. All right, so we got our headline. And our headline two. And display path. This is important too because you can drop a keyword in here and it just helps with quality score and stuff like that. And relevancy, which all Google cares about is relevancy for their user. Okay. So the more relevant you can be, the better off you're going to be. So for this ad group, what's it called? Philadelphia Roofers. So I'll drop in display path, Philadelphia roof company so we got Philadelphia here we got it up here description got to drop our description in here just let me edit this real quick free inspection okay roof repairs replacements what do you find it? okay looks good just make sure Okay. All right. So we got our first ad in our first ad group. Done. 